Welcome to Mima Zone. I am Mima, and I'm a grandma and a mom, and I'm going to read a story to you today. It's a little book called Once I Ate a Pie, and I think it's a compilation of little puppies or little animals, and it tells a little bit about each one. So let's see what it's all about. Here's a picture. Here's what it looks like on the front. Once I ate a pie. Puppy. The world is big. Here's a cute little puppy. The world is big. Trees too tall. Sky too high. Snow over my head. What if I get lost? You will chase snowflakes in the winter, people tell me. Run through the grasses in spring and howl at the full moon. Not now, I am a puppy. For now, I will stay here, by your side, safe, warm, puppy. Notice how puppies have really big feet. Their feet look kind of big. That's because they have to grow a little bit to grow into those feet, huh? Here's a one called Mr. Beefy. Look at him. Mr. Beefy, I am not thin, but I am beautiful. When no one is looking, I steal tubs of butter off of the table. I take them to the basement to eat in private. Once I ate a pie. Gus, here's Gus. I want my people in a group, like sheep. When someone is in the bathroom, I open the door. Are you all right? I ask. They are not happy. I take them back to the others. When they go anywhere, I am watching. I am watching. I'm the herder. This is Gus. Lucy. Oh, Lucy's laying with a bear next to her little boy and her little girl over here. Lucy, I was adopted from a shelter. I love the couch. It is mine. The chairs and beds are mine too and the house. At night, I sleep between my owners. They gave me a pillow of my own. Oh, there's Lucy. Whoopsie. Here's Whoopsie. My name is Whoopsie, but they call me cute. Who's cute, they ask, smiling. I cover my eyes with my paws and pretend to sleep. Who's cute, they call again. I run to them. I can't help it. I am cute. Look at Whoopsie is so cute. Darla. Here's Darla. I don't like other dogs. I like people and I like the cat who lives with me. When I want to go out, I bat the bell that hangs next to the door. The people come running. I bat the bell many times a day. The people are very tired. When they finally go to bed, I wait. Then, when they are asleep, I bat the bell one more time. That's Darla. Does that sound like any dog you know? Lewis. Here's Lewis. I used to yip. Now I bark. I bark to wake people up. I bark when the doorbell rings. I bark when someone walks by the house. I bark at the television. 
I bark when I want to eat. I bark when I want to sit when you are sitting. Where you are sitting. I bark when I want to sit where you are sitting. Bark, bark, bark. This is Lewis, who barks a lot. I have a little dog that used to yip and yap. Her name is Frida, and she is a Yorkshire Terrier, and she's a tiny dog, and sometimes she's like Lewis. She just barks at the TV. She just barks if she hears a mosquito. I mean, I don't know why she barks. Sometimes she just barks for, for no reason. Sugar. Here's Sugar, all curled up there. I'm tired. I want to stay in bed. I don't want to go outside. I don't want to take a walk. I don't want to go in the car. That's Sugar's personality. Do you know any people like Sugar? <laughs> I know somebody. Oh, and Sugar likes to sleep. No, I'm not ready to eat. No, I don't want a snack. Put the covers back over my head. I only get out of bed to chase the cat, and he's not around. Is he? Look. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Sugar likes to sleep. Three. We are three. Here are three three dogs. We are runners, leapers, and chasers. We are soft, sweet, shy. We are kings, we are queens, we are friends. We are three. Needle nose. I have a very good nose. It is sharp and useful. I use it to get into what I love, the insides of all things. The refrigerator, the dishwasher, quilts, pillows, dog cookie boxes, cat snack bags, toys. I like the squeaker. I can open mail too. What? If something is closed, I open it. If it is perfect, I tear it apart. I love my work. I love my nose. Needle nose. Pocket. They say I am tiny. I used to sleep in a coat pocket. I have a tiny collar and a tiny coat for when it rains. I have a tiny dish to eat my food and a tiny water bowl. I don't know why my things are so tiny. I am huge. I think that really he's tiny, but he thinks he's huge. Abby. Here's Abby. I do not steal. I borrow. Other dogs? Bones and stuffed animals, balls and pull toys. My people's slippers and socks, sweaters and underpants, but my favorite things to borrow are kitchen things. Loaves of bread from the counter, meat off of a plate, anything in a bowl. I don't have to give those things back. Why doesn't he have to give those things back? Or she, it's a girl, Abby. Why doesn't she have to give those things back? The meat off a plate and anything in a bowl because she eats them and they're all gone. Tilly and Maud. We look alike. I am shy. I do what they tell me. I like to eat. I like to chase balls. I pick private places to go to the bathroom. When there is food on the table, I can be trusted. We look alike except for one thing. I love Tilly. But we are not alike. I am sly. Sometimes I am bad. I bury my food under the couch cushions. I like to sleep. I don't care where I do it. Yesterday I did it in the living room. Not me, but we are different. I love Maud. Tilly and Maud. They love each other, and one is really good and one is really naughty. 
Here's Luke. Ooh, Luke is a big dog, huh? The sun is warm and I sleep. I dream about when I was young. I chased snowflakes in the winter and ran through the grasses in spring. I still bark when I want to, but tonight, and tonight I might howl at the moon. That's Luke. Oh, here's Luke, but now the sun is warm and I sleep and dream. The end. I hope you liked Once I Ate a Pie. It's by Patricia McLaughlin and Emily McLaughlin Cheris. And it's illustrated by Katie Schneider. Well, maybe those dogs reminded you of a dog you know, or maybe a person you know, or maybe another animal that you know. I hope you liked it. And, hmm, I wonder what I should tell you guys now. Hmm, anything about Love? Hmm. You think about? Okay, you know it. You know it. I love you. Mwah! So much. Okay, come back again and see another story.